If you're looking for a powerful e-signature solution for your business, I have the tool for you. It's called Soho Sign and it's really great. Plus, it doesn't overcomplicate things. It's so easy to get started that I'm going to show you how on this video. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is Soho Sign. And if you're still signing documents physically, please stop wasting paper and use something like this. If you want to check out Soho Sign, link will be provided in the description. Now, let's jump over to my Soho Sign dashboard, and this is how you are going to get started. You won't believe how easy it is to use Soho Sign. Uh, you can get started by sending for signatures or signing it yourself. And what you have to do is just upload a document, and it's going to automatically place the fields for you in an instant. All right. Now, I don't want to get started here because I want to show you the, my favorite part of Soho Sign, which is creating templates. This way, you can create a template and you don't have to start uploading the document every single time. And this is really great, for example, for human resources, for, for tax documents that you want to send out. And you don't have to complicate things by creating each single one of these. And you just don't want to do it by sending out a simple PDF out there. You want to send it out by using something like this, like Soho Sign. And what you're going to do is create a template. We're going to drag in a document. And in this case, I am going to drop a tax form that's really popular for us foreigners, which is the WA Ben form. On this case, I'm going to have it ready because I want to send it out to the clients who are going to invoice me. And it's just an example, all right? And let's give this one a name, test. And here we go. We are going to add the recipients. Now, in this case, I'm going to add two recipients, but you can add more if you need, especially if there's several sections of a document that needs to be filled out and signed, which is a, always a good idea to add the recipients you need in the template, all right? So in this case, I'm going to say this one is the client. That's going to be the name. And this one is going to be the owner. And for this one, it's going to be, I'm just going to send it out a test right now. And it's going to be sent out with my second test email here. And these ones need to sign. It could be a needs to sign an in-person signer approver or receives a copy. I'm going to leave both as needs to sign. All right. I can drag and drop these in case I create one later on that needs to be first instead of the other one. All right. Next is the more settings in case you need to fill this out. So days to complete, you set a date here. So 15 days is the max limit here. Document type, I can set a category here by adding them, folder to add documents so we can keep these organized. A description, automatic reminders. I'm going to turn this off just for testing purposes and send reminders every five days. In this case, I turned it off, right? Those to recipient, I'm just going to say sign, please. All right, let's go ahead and continue. And it's going to load up the document here. Let's go ahead and assign fields to recipient and it's going to be the client. Let's go ahead and proceed. And it's going to automatically place the fields that needs to be filled out, all right? Now you can see that these are green. Let me go ahead and click away. These are green because this is the client. If I need to designate these this, one of these to client, I just go ahead and select it. And I am going to select here and it's going to be the owner. See how I turn orange now? Tell me that's not easy, all right? Now that's super easy. I'm going to leave that one as is just for testing purposes. And I'm going to add another field right here for a signature. And this one is going to be tied to the owner. So let me go ahead and select it. I could have selected that beforehand and then designated it. All right. Now you have all these fields available to add here in case it doesn't add it automatically or you need to add additional ones, just like the one I added here for signature. You got the stamp, company, email, date, job title. For example, dates already added here. You got check boxes, radio, attachments, etc. all added here. Now, if I'm good to go, I am going to go ahead and save it. There we go. The template is now created so I can go ahead and send it out right now to recipients. Now I can go ahead and keep the client and owner as it is right now, or I can just go ahead and change it. Plus, I'll show you after this how we can create a signed forms, which is a really great tool, all right? So right now I can do a quick send or I can send later. I'm going to do a quick send because I want to show you how easy this was. So in this case, we have just created a template with a document to start sending it out to our clients right away and the email should be received right now. So let me go ahead and open that up. Here we go. We just got the first email here for the first recipient and we have the message to all which said sign, please. We are going to start signing. Here we go. Let's proceed to the document. OK, yes, I confirm and I agree to continue. OK, so now I can start filling out all these sections really quickly. I'm just doing it all fast right here. I'm going to add my signature. I can go ahead and select one of the signatures that's based on the text right here. Or I can change it to my name, which is George initials, or I can go ahead and draw, which I'll do a really squiggly line there and a initial just in case it's needed. Or I can go ahead and upload a signature. Let's go ahead and use that squiggly lines there. OK, let me go ahead and get rid of this. And then we have the date. Here we go. I'll just say 12, 12, 
24 all right and we'll keep everything as is we're going to finish this off right now and that is how fast you can sign this now i should be getting the next email for the second recipient that needs to fill out the other information all right so let's go ahead and open that up right now okay here we go we have the second email let's go ahead and open this up let's continue okay again i confirm i agree to continue we have the only field that i've selected remember it was only one field let's go ahead and sign this up and i'll just select this one okay and the rest of the information was filled out by the first recipient okay so let's go ahead and finish this out there we go you have signed this document we can go ahead and download it print it or email it to me all right and over here on soho sign let's go ahead and refresh this and it's been completed by both parties so in this case you can see if I did this step by step, I would view the mailed, viewed, and signed. So if they didn't sign, I would know that they viewed it. And then the second recipient, mailed, viewed, and signed. So we are now completed. Okay, so I can go ahead and view the document. Here it is. It's filled out with that random information that I've selected. Here's the signature for these uh, people who signed in. In this case, me. There's edit, completion certificate. I can go ahead and download this right now and view it in case I needed to keep this or present it in case of a case, all right? The email document, save to cloud, and more options here, all right? Now that's how easy it is to create templates and send out. Now, another favorite feature that I have is the sign forms. Now I've created a sign form for this one, and it makes things super smooth. That means that I can go ahead and send out a link, like I will do right here. Let's go ahead and open up this link, and I can add here my own role. So if I send this out, I can add my name here, which is or Aguilar, and I'll add the same email for testing purposes, and I can start signing. And this is going to be based on the template that I've created for this, okay? So for example, again, I'll confirm, agree, and continue. So you can send this out to anyone, they'll add their name and email, and it's going to be ready. And you can see that it detects my name because if I go to signature, you see right here, Jorge Aguilar, all right? Which is George Aguilar too, all right? And it's gonna kick off this template. Now that's really easy to start using and I really love it. And to create it, it's also super easy. Just go ahead and create a sign form, select the template, go ahead and create a name for this. I'll just say test for video, valid until, I can say forever, I select the date, enforce one-time password, limit sign form responses. So maybe you don't wanna keep it all out crazy or you wanna do 500 because you wanna use this later on. Avoid duplicate responses within seven days of initial response. You can go ahead and activate this and allow signers to resume signing from their previous responses. So in case they come back, they can just go ahead and continue, which I always think is a good idea in case they need to update some information. Maybe they want to change the phone number, the email, the price, etc. And you can do it from here. And boom, I've just created a sign forms right now. And I have my own link right now to start sharing right away so I can have my clients start using this to start activating the e-signature document system here from Soho Sign. Now, after all of this, you can view all your documents here by the sent, scheduled, in progress, completed, just everything around down here, and you can view them right here. And each one of these, we can view what's going on with everything, like view the document, edit, completion, certificate, download, everything, all right, from here. Then you got your reports. You got your document status, for example, for completed, decline, expire, we'll view the graphics right here. You got reports for completed, decline, recalled, in progress, expired, just everything you're going to need for this. Now, I definitely recommend that you check out their plans. They even have a free plan, so you can get started right now for $0. And if you need more limits, you can jump into the paid plans. They have a standard professional and enterprise plan, and I'll be leaving the link in the description to this section so you can check it out. Now, if you need to know, it is available for mobile app. So if you wanna use it on desktop, on mobile app, or on the browser, it's available, all right? So it's super easy to start using Soho Sign. So if you need an e-signature system that is powerful but doesn't complicate things, this is the way to go. And as I mentioned before, the link we provided in the description in case you guys wanna check it out. And that's a wrap.